It started out as a rainy, rainy Wednesday here in Chicago, but I managed to not get soaked on my way to the office. Uh, so happy Wednesday, everyone. Thursday. <laughs> Is it Thursday? And that's how ah! it's going. <laughs> that's how it's going, guys. My... Happy my Thursday. coffee is not is not doing its job today. Happy <laughs> Thursday. I wonder you know, if I yesterday was a really I, long day for me. It kind of feels like it's still Wednesday for me. Still. And maybe that's what happened is I just didn't feel like my Wednesday ever ended, even though I technically got some <laughs> sleep. So I honestly I think that fits the mood for today's discussion. Uh, uh, I was reflecting this morning on the quote: "If you do what you've always done, you'll get what you've always gotten." Uh, I originally heard that from Tony Robbins. Who knows where he got it from? Uh, and it's just one of those things that's kind of a gut punch if you think about it and you actually take it to heart of like, oh, yeah, like, crap. If I don't change my relationship with my day-to-day -day anything, how we market, how we schedule, how our staff interacts, how whatever, uh, it's not going to change. But with that, in some ways, kind of comes the burden private practice ownership can really like kick your butt sometimes. It is a very immersive experience that is not always the most enjoyable when you are surrounded by the pressure of always needing to change things, fix things and grow through things in your business. Yeah, change is hard. Uh, change is really, really hard. And change is extra hard because sometimes it means extra risk. Sometimes it means doing things that you've never done before. It feels unsafe. Change, to me, change sometimes can happen too fast. Change can yeah. happen too slow. There's, there's a huge delicacy when it comes to change. And uh, so I just want to give you maybe a little bit of empathy, but it's the only constant, right? I think we've all heard that before. Change is the only constant, right? And so, you know, it's kind of interesting. You brought up the Tony Robbins quote, but the the inverse also kind of really works, which is, um, you know, if you want something new, you just got to change, right? And that, that's ultimately what the inverse is there. And so maybe set, set yourself up for success by declaring your intent and then go out and make it happen through modifications of some kind. Yeah. I I think of a practice we, I was talking to a couple of weeks ago that we're working with, and one of the comments they made is we made all of these changes, but and the you know they're really good, they're really healthy, but our payroll is bigger than ever, and it's just like this gut bomb in the pit of their stomach every time they run this massive this massive payroll weekly, monthly, um, whatever it is, and so with that it's. Sometimes it's like, I made the change. I did the thing. I had the courage, but it's still kind of like that feeling of suck, even in the midst of that, as you're trying to grow through it and get used to it can also be there. And that can actually be an anticipation of that sort of gross, risky feeling on the other side of it. Keep us from pushing into the parts of our business that need our time, need our attention and need our energy. So I want to raise two big things that will hopefully bring clarity and bring um, focus on how to get through these moments. And the first one is kindness. You know, Attilio kind of said even like empathy. It, and you guys practice this with your clients all the time of, well, how do we give empathy and kindness for where you're at and what you're going through and grace for the person that you have become while you're still becoming this new person on this journey. And I think just kindness for how to talk to yourself your team members, this process is, is such a grounding point to say, hey, are we treating our business and ourselves who are trying to create this business with the kindness we deserve? Because after all, we're the only ones that get to work on it. Um, we're, we only have ourselves. So, you know, being angry, anxious, um, ridicule, filled, whatever it is for what you're going through is not the answer. Yeah. Uh and you had number two, which was like leadership for self and others is maybe where I would go. Yeah. And at least I was off your newsletter from this morning. So <laughs> those of you guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so, you know, take a look at the hard work that lies ahead for your team and show gratitude for your team uh, and, and take this as maybe the time to lead. 
Um, actually, my 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 other point would be like it's our privilege to lead, and it's our privilege to pay a bigger tax bill, and it's our privilege to do bigger payrolls or deal with more problems or because it's all byproducts of us trying it's all byproducts of us fighting for something else right and so it's our privilege to fail it's our privilege to jump over these obstacles and and leading is not always the easy thing um, but it is certainly the necessary thing Hmm. Uh, many of us can't afford a leader in our private practices it costs yeah. a heck of a lot of money to, to place that position until you can afford that position uh, you know it's it is necessary for you to fulfill that duty and just as we kind of wrap up this on that necessary leadership no one else is going to be able to do it for you especially in the early stages in the way that you want. Um, and even sometimes at the later stages <clears throat> and in that privilege of leadership, it's also the privilege when you lead, when you step into that with joy and excitement and energy, you have the opportunity to build something uniquely yours and impact and lead your team in a way that no one else would, because how I lead certain parts of our business is different than how Atelio leads certain parts of their business. And every single practice owner that we work with leads their team. Even if the goal is sessions, clinicians, uh, you know, revenue from the business, how you get there and how you showcase your leadership, your process and your talent is different for everyone. And in some ways you're robbing yourself and your business of that opportunity to have it be uniquely yours and impacted uniquely by you when we buckle or we step away from that burden of leadership instead of step into it and say, this is necessary and this is good. I don't know if I have anything else for you guys this morning. I just want to let you guys know that it is super hard growing a business. Um, and if it was easy, everybody would do it. And um, if you're in the middle of something really hard right now, there's always a way out. There's always a way out. And sometimes that way out is maybe you don't need to be doing the thing. <laughs> so sometimes yeah. the really hard thing is just maybe you don't need to be focusing on it. And uh, sometimes you need to focus in extra on it. And so make great decisions for yourself and just do your best. And ultimately, I think you're going to 